Hey YouTube, this is uh, Coding for Noobs, and uh, today I'm going to teach you a little bit about cracking in Visual Basic.net. So first things first, we're going to make a program that we want to crack. So just go ahead and create a new physical application. We'll call it a uh, cracking tutorial. This will be uh, the first episode, and we'll probably run a lot. I'll probably keep adding to this, but. Uh, Basically, on a simple login system, there's always a username text box and a password text box and uh, a button to log in with. So, I'm do this and log in. I'm just doing this off quick, it's gonna look ugly. Um, okay. Anyway, so uh, when you hit log in, normally are on a very 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 simple offline only login system like if text box one dot text equals we'll say c four n coding for news then and then we'll do the else statement now we'll do message box fail failed I'm gonna copy this so I can paste it in a minute but uh then we need to check the password, so text box two dot text equals uh, YouTube. Then message box success. Uh, else, we're gonna message box failed again. So uh, now go ahead and I'm gonna save this project. Save all this cracking tutorial. Um, next thing we need to do is build. That way, uh, we can go crack it. So, uh, go ahead and open up your, uh, your one second, let me find mine. Cost you about it. Uh, new folder. Reflection. You need to open up your Smart Assembly Explorer. And, uh, then navigate to where your, uh, Your uh, cracking that we just made is sorry. Uh, hit breathe for a second. Anyways, cracking tutorial, bin, and release. Okay, so now I'm going to go there in my Windows Explorer. So I'm going to go to Documents, Visual Basic, Projects, and cracking tutorial, cracking tutorial, bin, release, and cracking tutorial. So basically, we have gibberish. It's not going to work because it only works for C4M and uh, YouTube. So C4M and YouTube should allow me to log in. See? But if there's anything wrong with it, it won't let me log in. Sorry about the dog. So basically what we want to do is uh, we want to change that. So there's two things that we can do now. We want to when we open it in Smart Assembly, we want to we want to open up the program and then form one, and then we want to go down to button one click because this is where uh, it controls what we uh or not the controls but like this is the sub for button one and we want to change this so right off the bat we can see that the username is C4N in YouTube so. We really wouldn't even have to change anything unless it's a cryptic kind of thing. If it is like this, we can change this to be nothing just by simply double clicking on it and changing the uh, operand. You can change that to anything you want and that would work. But uh, say we can't see the username and the password and we want to do something else. First thing we can do is uh, change this beanie from going to uh, failed to. Uh, Let me see where it is. Uh, load string success. And uh, right away, instead of uh, checking for CIM, even if it's wrong or even if it's true, it's just going to go right to success instead. So when we save this as cracked video one, there we go, we are able to go to uh, cracked video one. And we can hit login and it'll be success no matter what we type in. There we go. 
this is your your first cracking tutorial and uh, expect a few more. Thanks guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.